Hi, let me demonstrate how to change a password on a Pearson exam and also how to set timing uh, on the exam and perhaps change the welcome message to students. We are now logged in to Blackboard. I'm going to click on Pearson, My IT Lab, and uh, next we're going to click on the My Lab IT Course Home. So this is going to take us to Pegasus which is the Pearson uh, Learning Management System. Now let's go ahead and click on Instructor Assignment Calendar. The Instructor Assignment Calendar gives us access to assignments by start date or by end date. So the green flags is when the assignment starts and then the clock is when it ends. In this instance I'm going to click on Friday, that's where the exam uh, is due. The due date here simply means that anybody who has not taken the exam by then will be given zero and that zero will go back to the gradebook. So let's change the password on the exam. We'll go to the options and then we'll go to set scheduling options. So under set scheduling options we have uh, an area at the very bottom advanced options. We'll click on that and this is where I can uh, retype the password and then go ahead and save it. So what we would want to do is we we would retype the password before the exam and then five minutes into the into the exam we would um, retype the password again and press save. So this means that if the browser accidentally is closed during the exam uh, the proctor would come up and then uh, type in the password for the student and the exam would reopen. Now let's go ahead and look at some other options on the exam which is in the edit menu. So we go ahead and press edit and uh, in the activity details there's a mention here of the estimated time to complete the activity. This is for informational purposes. This is not how we can limit the actual time. The time is limited under preferences and in preferences we have timing. It should be checked to uh, uh, measure activity level and we'll go ahead and uh, put maybe 40 minutes with a five minute warning. So this is going to ensure that uh, exams are completed before the next class uh, is, is filing into, into the room. From here at the bottom we have settings for feedback and this specific setting to display correct answers after students uh, submit activity this does not work as expected to actually hide the correct answers you would have to go under instructor gradebook and then make the change on a specific column to hide uh, view submissions from students. So at this point we are done with preferences. I'm going to go ahead and press save and return. And next we're going to look at the message. Now I press save and return because the system is uh, quirky at times where it will not save the settings uh, if you just switch between the tabs. So we were under preferences, now we're going to go under messages and here under messages we have the option of editing uh, the welcome message for students. So if we go in here and uh, say something like uh, uh, let's pick maybe 18 bold uh, uh, okay that's not 18 bold, let's make this uh, uh, Eighteen here, so we're going to say, "Welcome to the exam. Please uh, read the questions carefully." Of course, we can be as creative here as as needed. We'll press save again, and let's go ahead and do save it and return. So this beginning of activity message. Let's see how it works. We're going to navigate to assignment calendar as a student. So now we'll go ahead and open the exam. Let's go ahead and uh, put the password in. And this is the welcome message that I mentioned. Uh, we have opportunity to go ahead and start the assignment. Um, and if for some reason during the exam the student closes uh, the, the exam again 
uh, when you click on it next time or when a student clicks on it next time they will be prompted and by now hopefully this is a new password already. Thank you.